Hi everyone and welcome back. So in the first module of this Node.js master playlist, we will just talk about the basic fundamentals of Node.js. And if I talk in terms of courses, course content for this first module, we'll primarily focus on the Node.js architecture, Node.js NPM, how to write Node.js APIs using basic express because we'll be using express router or how to create a simple server and basic routing without even using express. Okay, so basic thing we will just understand the Node.js architecture, Node.js we are calling is a known IO blocking, single threaded, event driven. So we'll try to understand these terms. Then we will understand Node.js architecture. Okay, this is built on top of V8 engine. So how Node.js is different from the JavaScript which is running on the browser. How Node.js, we are calling Node.js as a browserless JavaScript runtime environment which is running on the same V8 runtime engine where your JavaScript running on the browser. So what is the difference? What external APIs which Node.js is using to make it different? Because now JavaScript we are running at the server side also. Same thing we are running at the client side. So what is the difference? Okay, then we will talk about the core modules of Node.js like FS, HTTP, .NET, all these are actually core HTTPS, SSL. These are core modules which are helping you to access the network, access the file system, okay, talk to any other REST endpoint. All these are actually core modules which are coming with the Node.js installation, okay. Then we'll talk about external modules with the help of NPM which is a package manager, Node package manager, Yarn package manager. With the help of Node package manager, you will install external module like I, I, Express is not a part of Node.js. It is coming as a separate package. Similarly, Happy, Koa, other modules we will install and we will use them with the Node.js. Okay. Once we are done with this, now it's time to write our API. It's time to write some kind of application. And that application can be a simple JavaScript code, simple HTTP server, simple HTTP server which is exposing REST. APIs, REST, GET, PUT, POST, PATCH or DELETE. Okay, then we will talk about express routing because GET will do a different thing, HTTP POST will do a different thing, HTTP DELETE will do a different things. So that we are deciding based on the API routes. So before even coming to this playlist, you should be aware about how to, what all REST API methods are, the verbs, right, methods like HTTP GET, PUT, POST, DELETE. What is the, the what is the basic standard for writing the REST APIs? Okay, then server side rendering like sometimes what we want is Node.js to render the templates. Templates can be your EGS template, JAD template, or simple index.html files. Node.js can either render a template for you or work as a REST API source, or can act as a GraphQL API server. I mean, it depends on the use case you want to render a template or you want to expose a rest api from the node.js server or you want to expose a graphql uh, apis from the node.js server so we will look at all these examples the most important part of this is understanding how event loop works okay how node.js is known are you blocking executing the asynchronous code with synchronous code how this event loop event queues works, right? How Node.js is different from any other programming language when it comes to like faster execution like Java, maybe other programming language. How it is dealing with the asynchronous code differently than any other programming language. It is using this known IO blocking because Node.js is a single threaded. Only one thing is getting executed at a time. Underlying implementation is different because Node.js is written on C and C++ bindings so that there may be a thread pool exist but for the interface which is exposed to us that is purely single threaded. Okay, we will see how this event loop works, event queue works. Okay, okay, so let's get started with the module one. I will just give a basic introduction through some slides on the first video then we will just progress on the content of this uh, module one. Thanks everyone.